Hello, welcome to this Joseek training video. In this video, we will cover the software installation to use the GMS recorder. So, at this stage, I will ask you to insert the CD of Geoda software in the computer, in the CD drive. Uh, normally, a menu should pop up automatically. If it's not the case, uh, you should go into my computer and then the CD drive and launch the CD starter. At this stage, we have the menu here, and we should initiate the install Geoda software. The setup will start up and the default installation is usually fine so I will simply follow up he's asking me now for the username and company name and also serial number at this stage you can enter zero a serial number it will work for all the communication issues uh, if you uh, requested the DAP data and analysis package you will find the serial number on the CD and also on a text file inside the CD. I use the standard path and also for the Geodas data folder. The Geodas data folder is where all the uh, data and configurations will be stored. To create the startup menu, the uh, shortcuts, review your settings and proceed with the installation. Um, still two options to launch Geodas at startup. If you use a dedicated PC for Geodas and if you are receiving communications from GMSs, then it's maybe recommended to have Geodas running at startup so that as soon as you boot your PC or if you restart it, it will always be operating and receiving data from the instruments and to place a Geodas shortcut into the desktop. So once this is finished, um, now it's also good to install the Yukon terminal software for the basic setup of the GMS. We use a terminal and the Yukon is a freeware uh, terminal software that we recommend to use. So you can browse the CD, the window will come and under utilities, there is a folder called Yukon install and I will simply launch the installation, keep the default path, put the desktop icon, and then we are set up. Now I will just come back to the root of the CD, where we will shortly just see that you have a calibration folder, where you can find the calibration papers about the sensors and recorders, configuration folder, where you find the default configurations that were installed in the instruments, Geodas folder where the software is, GeoWatch where you find our latest newsletters, leaflets about our products, the manuals of our instruments and software sensors as well, uh, several presentations about our products, SSH software which was used in other software but uh, we still keep it. The utilities, where you find several utilities um, like a word viewer, um, Excel viewer, Acrobat reader, and so on. Also the Lontronics and Moxa utility that are used with other products, but in case you need them, you know they are here. And some videos like this tutorial video and others. Also you find here a text file, Geodas DAP, which contains the code of the data and analysis package in case you purchased it. So I will now launch Geodas. And I will register the code. Okay, I don't have the moment. I will register using the code that is in the text file. Here you see we have the light version, 
and if you have a code you can simply copy and paste it here to gain access to the analysis functions here. At the moment they are not activated because no file is open, but we will go through it afterwards. Now about the other software I ask you to install is Yukon. So to use the Yukon software, I'll just take it here. You should select the COM port, depending if you have a COM port on your PC or if you are using a USB adapter, you need to know which one it is. If you don't know, um, you can always find it out from the device manager. In my case, I can go here to the device manager. And here I will see the COM ports. I have a USB to serial controller. And under port settings, under advanced, I can see that I'm using the COM9. So I will use COM9 in my case, and the console is 19.2 uh, kilovolt speed. I also assume at this stage that you have the uh, console cable connected to the instrument so that we can now initiate the Yukon. So we have now the important tools installed and running, which is the Geodas software and the Yukon. And in the next video, we will see how to configure the GMS 